Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new tutorial in Unreal Engine. So today I'm going to show you how to introduce an animal NPC, an AI and animal NPC in the game. So for this tutorial I have uh, downloaded some dear um, assets for uh, my project and uh, so let's start. So this is how the deer looks like. So we're going to use this uh, deer dough um, uh, skeletal mesh uh, basically for the animation. So the first step is to create a blueprint class. So right click blueprint class and you choose a character over here. Name it appropriately. BP underscore deer is what I'm naming it and open it. So you have all these components by default over here. Um, what you need is basically you need to set up a mesh for your blueprint. So this would be then our deer, deer toe. Okay, perfect. And um, you need to make sure that he's pointing exactly in the direction of the arrow component. So you see the arrow component is like this. So I would say rotate him 90 degree. Sorry, 270. So he faces this side alongside the arrow. Uh, this is to have the orientation uh, correctly placed and uh, the capsule component it seems to be incorrectly placed here so let's move the mesh a bit lower so that it's almost correctly aligned with the capsule mesh in terms of height save it okay perfect so now what we can do is basically we create an instance of this in our project so you see we have our deer Okay, looking cool. Um, now he's not yet moving yet. So basically we need to introduce the AI part where he moves to a random location in a confined space. So for that, how can I do this? So let me open the blueprint class. Let's go to the full blueprint editor. Okay, so we need to create a custom event here when the game begins play. So we move uh, the other unwanted stuff below, create a custom event add custom event let's call it something like roam um, yeah let's put it here then on event begin play we are going to call this roam okay perfect now what do we do so when the roam is called basically we need to move the and uh, move the animal right so ai move to that's what i call here and um, what we need is get actor location. So this is over here. And uh, for the pawn, we need a reference to the self. Perfect. And then here, we need to uh, find a random point, right? So get random reachable point in radius. So this is the node which I'm using to achieve this. Um, the radius, let's set it as like thousand, maybe thousand. Oh, yeah, thousand is fine. And then random location we feed into the destinations. The acceptance radius, let's say 150 or something. Okay, sounds cool. On success, what do we do? We put a delay, let's say three, and on completed let's call the same roam um, event again so it needs to be cyclic right that's the reason why we are doing that so this is now going to um, fetch um, a point within the radius of thousand units and we have an acceptance tolerance radius here 150 so it's like the point will be like thousand plus or minus 150 if i understand correctly and um, the um, the mesh is going to move the um, in a cyclic way. It will always find a random point within this reachable um, radius. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the movement. So um, now to define the bounds for the movement, we need to add a nav mesh bounds volume basically. So it's added here. This is too small, I would say. Let's move it a little bit like this. Okay, looks perfect. Let's scale it to 50, 50, sorry, 50, and maybe for the height, we keep it as 10. So we have a huge nav mesh bound volume object set over here. So we have relatively a larger area for the deer to move around. 
Now, how can we see this when the NAV mesh bound volume is selected? All you need to do is press the P button on your key uh, keyboard and it shows you um, the available space for the deer to move around, this green color over here. So if you save and if you do a P again, it's hidden now. And if you play now, you should be able to see this. The deer moves. It waits for the delay of three seconds and then it moves randomly. Okay, so now we need to set up the animation for the deer. So the movement part is done. Let's go back to the um, blueprint folder. So now we need to set up the ABP, um, the blueprint, animation blueprint class for the deer. So we go here, animation, animation blueprint. We need to choose the mesh or the skeleton for it. So we choose the deer doe skeleton. Rename it as ABP deer. Perfect. Um, now we would also need a blend space object to define the animation to be played. So I would uh, just search for blend space. Um, technically speaking, a 1D blend space is fine. So, but nevertheless, let's choose this deer doe skeleton, and I give the initials BS for blend space. BS underscore deer. So we have the blend space. So now we set the horizontal axis as speed. Okay, the maximum value is 100 and 0. That should be fine. Let's do it like that. Now, um, basically, we need to um, add a point over here, right? So we need to drag and drop the animations what we want over here uh, to be played. So we go to the animations and we have, let's let's search for idle animation when the speed is 0, basically. Uh, maybe idle graze. That, that, that would be nice. So he's grazing when he's idle, right? So let's check this. Um, let's set the speed as zero to be precise and 50 as the y-axis. I mean, we really don't care about the y-axis at the moment. So now we also choose the walk animation because we're basically going to have the deer roaming around. So um, let's choose this walk, deer to walk animation. Uh, we fine-tune the values here. So the speed, let's give it as 100, the maximum and the value, the y-axis value we keep as constant because we really don't care about it. it's 50, uh, 50, yeah. So that's set over here. So now we have the BS defined. Uh, now what we need to do is go to the blueprints and we need to specify it over here. We need a couple of variables also in our ABP tier class. So the first one, let's call it speed and it will be a float. Okay, perfect for fine precision. And let's do um, another variable, which is tier, let's say tier 01. And let's take the type as BP tier of the type of our blueprint. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. So now what do we need? Speed, get speed. We also need um, basically the, um, the blend space object. So basically we're going to drag and drop that here. Okay. And we feed in the speed over here. And default slot. And we feed it into the output pose. So the pose is, uh, you know, updated based on the a speed variable and it's fed into the blend space and based on the animation there it's taken to the out output post that's the basic logic behind this now we need to also do an event graph for the abp tier class basically so what do we need so we need an initialize animation node initialize animation right and uh, we need to basically cast it Class two BP tier sounds pretty much okay. Well, what we can do is use this uh, get pawn owner and put it into this object. Now it seems to be fine. Okay. Now what do we do? 
So we need to do a set on the deer object basically here. Okay, so this part seems to be completed. Now we need to uh, do the update part for the animation. So the velocity part basically. So now we need to get the deer. Okay, now we need to do the get character movement. Sorry. Um, this guy over here so that we can access the velocity component. Uh, basically, yeah, get, sorry, get velocity. So we have the velocity component. We need to convert it into the vector length node. Yes, using the vector length node. And then we basically do a set on the speed. The return value is taken as the value for the speed and we are updating the speed over here. This is pretty much it for the whole mechanism. So we also need to instruct the BP Deer class to use the animation class which we created. So basically ABP Deer, yes, compile. So now if we play the game, we should be able to see that the deer has picked up the animation and it moves to random locations um, selected within our nav mesh bounce volume. And um, he should be able to walk and grease. Let's check it out. Somehow the speed is not matching. So let's try to uh, calibrate the speed for the for the deer. So BP deer, if you search for speed over here, you should be able to see here the maximum speed. So at the moment, we only care about this walk speed. I mean, these are not yet uh, applicable. We don't have a crouch mode for the deer. We don't have a swim speed or a fly speed. Okay, so we simply compile it now, save it. So now he should be walking at a better pace. Let's check it out. Yeah, there you go. There he is. He's walking and then he's grazing over here. And then he's walking to a new random location. So hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. Please try it out in your projects and let me know in the comments how it goes. So I'll be back with a brand new tutorial. Until then, bye guys.